my name is Melissa. And 36 years ago, I was born with strabismus, which means that my eyes weren't pointing in the same direction. So for the first 32 years of my life, I was only using one eye and I didn't have any depth perception. Through years of vision therapy and a strabismus surgery, my eyes are pretty much straight now and I'm able to use them together to have some pretty amazing depth perception. This whole video series is all about helping you see the transformation that I've experienced going from a 2D to a 3D world. It is so amazing and I'm excited to share it with you. Let's jump in. I have a humongous family, tons of siblings, cousins, aunts, uncles, and we love to have family reunions. And these reunions, there are always outdoor throwing games. And before and after vision therapy, I've seen a huge difference in my ability with these different games. Not that this is a game changer or life altering, but it sure is fun to win sometimes, right? Like, I just like to not be the worst and have people not want to be on my team. Um, some of these games, we've got like Koob, where you're like throwing wooden dowels to knock over these blocks. Um, cornhole, where you're tossing bean bags. Let's see what other ones. There's one where there's like the ball, two balls on a string, and you're tossing it, trying to get it to loop around. Um, there's like a Frisbee one. Anyways, there's all sorts of different ones. The Frisbee one, not so much because I can't throw a Frisbee, and that doesn't have to do with my vision. It has to do with my athleticism. But the ones where I'm just straight throwing, trying to make it hit a certain target, horseshoes, right? All of these different games require great depth perception. And you can play them without 3D vision. If you only have one eye, you can use size differences and you throw one and you kind of start learning where these items are in space, right? But depth perception is way easier. Um... It's like if you wanted to make a recipe, you know, you could figure it out on your own, right? You could test all the spices and you could eventually come up with something great. But it's a lot easier if you just have the recipe. It goes a lot faster and it's just a lot more efficient. And that's how using both eyes together. It's like, yes, you can use shapes and shadows and sizes, all of these different monocular or one eye cues to see depth. But using stereopsis where both eyes are working together and calculating distances it's so much more efficient and it's so much better. And it also like, it makes the image like more clear and defined. So anyways, I remember the first time I was able to um, do what I call use my stereopsis. And I always, whenever you're playing yard games with me and I start doing really bad, I'll, and I might be on your team, I'll say, oh, I forgot, I need to use my stereopsis. And everyone's like, what's that? And anyways. You know, most people know now what I'm talking about. Um, or if someone else is, I'm like, you have two perfectly good eyes with depth perception. Use your stereopsis. And they're like, what? I'm like, your brain knows how to do this. Like, calculate how far away it is and tell your arm how far to throw it. And they probably think I'm crazy. But when I remember this one day I was playing Koob and, you know, you throw this wooden stick and you're trying to knock over a block. And I just was like way off, throwing them clear off, not even close. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna use both eyes and I'm gonna use my peripheral. I'm gonna expand what I can see, use my peripheral vision, use my depth perception, all these things. And I started throwing them and it was just like one after the other. I'd throw, knock it over, throw, knock it over, throw, knock it over. And everyone was like, what? And like they were cheering and I was cheering. And it was so, it was just, it was really fun. It was funny. Like, um, everyone was like, oh my gosh, you're like a gifted athlete now. I'm like, yes, I can throw sticks and knock over blocks. But, and it's not always that good, but I just remember that particular moment where my brain like realized how to use both eyes. And I was all of a sudden able to be way more accurate with my throwing. Um, same with bean bags. Um, I just feel like I'm more average now. Like I'm more normal. Instead of being like way below average and like never even coming close, I'm kind of like everybody else. Like I hit it sometimes, I don't hit it sometimes, but I'm I'm a lot more average, I guess. And I can, I can, when I engage my peripheral and really work on that egocentric awareness, which is being aware of the distance between you and what you're looking at, when you engage that peripheral, 
it helps so much to make that depth perception way more real. So um, this, this isn't something that happened overnight. It definitely took some time to get to that point. I probably was like a year in to my journey. I think it was the first summer after I started and I started patching in August. Maybe it was the second summer. I can't remember. But it just keeps getting better and better as I get better at my visual skills. It's It comes through my whole body. It makes throwing easier. So that is one awesome way that vision therapy and having straight eyes has really transformed my world. And if you want to know more, you can go to my website. And if you want to know if your eyes are working together, if you're using one eye or both eyes, I have this super awesome free quiz that you can take. It's called Do My Eyes Work Together? And there's six different tests that you can do to kind of help you understand if one or both eyes are working at the same time. And you can get that at learn.strabismussolutions.com. If you scroll down to the bottom, there's a couple of different free downloads that you can do that will help you understand more about your vision. So hope to see you there and we'll see you in the next video.